Pennsylvania's freshman Senator John Fetterman makes his return to the Capitol this week. Fetterman spent the last several weeks getting treatment for severe depression. WENY Washington correspondent Rachel Knapp joins us live from the U.S. Capitol this evening with more on this development. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Renata. So lawmakers on both sides of the aisle expressed support for Fetterman during his treatment, and it's really opened a broader discussion here at Cap on the, on the Hill about mental health. But since his return, he has hit the ground running. Lawmakers should not be able to profit off of the same companies that they are regulating. It's just that simple. Letting members that's the senator this morning speaking at his first major press conference since returning to the Senate. He joined other members introducing legislation that would ban members of Congress, their spouses, and dependent minors from owning or trading stocks, commodities, or futures. Now, while this is his first big appearance on the Hill after wrapping up his treatment for depression, he was still able to get a lot done even when he wasn't physically present at the Capitol. Staffers I spoke with say one of the biggest things his office was doing while he was away was keeping constituent services open. He was also able to open more offices around Pennsylvania, including some in Northwest Pennsylvania, which he, while he was away from the Hill, and he was still able to introduce legislation. Members on both sides of the aisle wish Fetterman a speedy recovery, and yesterday, Senator Chuck Schumer took to the floor, welcoming the Pennsylvania freshman back to the Senate. We're all glad he got the support he needed, and he's sending an important message to millions of Americans that asking for and getting help works. Lawmaker. Fetterman's return means he can now vote on legislation and nominations. Also making the return back to the Hill is Republican Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. He was hospitalized after falling at a fundraising dinner. California Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, who said she was hospitalized for shingles, has also been gone for quite some time but might return soon. Now the Senate has in the Senate, there's a narrow uh, Democratic majority, 51 to 49. And with that slim majority, it's been tough for the Democrats to move forward with nominations and legislation. Renata, back to you.